Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Cat Simulator 2014. My name is Max, and this is the second game of the uh, CCS Cat Simulator tournament. Uh, yesterday we had Mova 55 vs Jagerfest 20, where Mova 55 was victorious and went into the winners bracket, while Jagerfest unfortunately was the loser for that game, and I did go into the losers bracket. But today it's the second game, second round. Um, and today's players are Harry Twiglet on the purple seam on bot side, and then the top lane we have Surfatron uh, representing the blue team. These are both very new players to the um, the concept of cat sim. Um, they have been doing a lot of practicing, lots of scrimming, getting ready for this tournament. They are though both very confident players. Um, although they are new, we've seen in some practice matches um, their playing styles. So we're going to be hopefully see that a little bit today. Um, let's take a quick look at the leaderboard and see where everybody fits in. So as we can see, Mova55 has gone on to the winner's bracket and Jagfest on to the loser's bracket. That's leaving Harry Twiggle and Serpatron to battle it out to see where they fit in to this leaderboard. And then of course we will see um, in the third and fourth games to see who's going to go into the finals. Um, so let's get back into the game. So you can see Serpatron trying to do some damage to that turret. He has managed to round up 7 CS and bot lane. Uh, Harry Twigger got 7 CS, so they're both pretty even on the farm. But Serpatron has done more damage to the turret than Harry Twiglet. Are we going to see any turrets drop? It's too early to say right now. Both are level 3. It's a very nice skin, actually. Snow, snow Leopard Lily. Nidalee. It's pretty nice. So, um, taking a turret there. Serpatron, not really going to affect him too much. Just means he's going to have to play a little bit safer. Item builds. Let's talk a bit about item builds, where these teams are are likely to go. Serpatron I think is going to play a uh, straight phage build. It's very phage, zeal, sort of your standard build that we've seen a lot of players. He, he wants to play the game quite safely. He has been possibly more offensive than defensive. He tends to like that role. He likes to invade. He likes to put pressure up and that's something we certainly like to see. Um, Harry Twiglet on the other hand I think he will go for the standard build. I honestly will think, I think he'll be offensive as well. Actually, he when we've seen him in the training and in the scrims, he does quite like to play an offensive game as well. So hopefully, we'll see a really interesting game. Two teams trying to pressure each other out their own jungles, and uh, I think it's going to be good. Who's going to win though? That's the question. There is no easy answer to this right now. Honestly, I think um, Jag uh, Harry Twiglet will probably be able to do a lot more. Uh, pressure due to his his experience with the game he's played a lot more he knows a lot more uh, mechanics with the maps mechanics with the uh, Nidalee and he understands Katzin more I think that comes down to the experience and uh, we'll see if he obviously puts that into practice we have got a little bit of a gold lead here Serpatron getting uh, 5 CS up or so on um, on uh, Harry Twiglet down there Gold looking uh, actually pretty uneven. We can see um, we can see Serpatron having more gold than Harry Twiglet. But um, oh, it's because Serpatron hasn't bought boots. That's a very odd move to be doing. Possibly he's going to be building. Um, I don't know why he would have made that move. I honestly don't know why he would not bought boots at the start. He's going to have to build. Uh, boots mobility anyway. He can't build straight into an item. So we'll see what he does with that gold. Maybe he just doesn't need them. You don't really need them at the start in the, in the laning phase. But um, it does look like Sepatron has had a more successful laning phase. He's going to go up into uh, level 6 in just a moment. Harry Twiggler also going to be coming up to 6. Let's take a look at tam damage on the turrets. So that's a pretty decent amount. In the top lane, hmm. They're pretty equal, but I don't think we're going to see any turrets going down today. They're going to be level 6 soon, and they're going to go back, and they're going to be buying their first items. A 10 CS lead, actually, in fact, by Serpatron. I wonder if he's going to be able to take this lead and take this, this obviously strong farming style into the game. He's level 6, he's going to be backing off, heading back, and Robbie, or Harry Twiglet, just taking level 6 there. They're going to both be recalling. See who gets back first. And obviously to see who takes off podium first, which is a big question. Serpatron back, Harry Twiglet back. What items are they gonna be buying? Boots and mobility being picked up by Serpatron. 
and a dagger. He looks like he's possibly going for that zeal and ghost popped. He wants to get straight in that jungle. Very unique tactic. Harry Twiglet just going to walk off. He's going to take that enchantment. Um, what is the enchantment? Distortion. He's going to be getting that uh, cooldown reduction on the ghost. Um, it's an interesting build. Serpatron's build. Going into the wrong jungle there. Uh, he that's gonna waste some time. He knows he's uh he, he's done goofed. He's made a mistake, but he's gonna go back into the correct jungle this time, the correct way. So Harry Twiglet taking blue buff. Clairvoyant's being put right down on him. Serpatron almost looking like he's gonna go in. Aggressive play straight off the start. Bit of a done goof on that wall, but uh looks like he's going in. Is Harry Twiglet gonna be able to take it in time? This looks like there's gonna be a fight straight off the bat. Serpatron coming up. He does not have the ghost to do it. And Harry Twiglet is just gonna back off. Not gonna be able to chase him. Very, very aggressive play by Serpatron there. He's just going to pick up his wolves. Harry Twiglet is going to go back. He has got the blue. He's got that cooldown reduction. And, of course, he's got that extra gold. Is he going to be able to catch up with that? With that? that was a victory, obviously, for Harry Twiglet, but nothing nothing too crazy. Nothing that's going to catch him back up. Um, I like the uh, distortion boots. I think they're very good. Um, and we're going to see what he's going to do with this blue buff. Honestly, I think Serpatron... That early game attack has put him actually a little bit behind on farm, a little bit behind on experience. And it might be cool to see Harry Twiglet now putting a bit more pressure on, but it does look like he's just going to... Uh, oh no, he is going to do the invade. Probably going to be taking those golems. Serpatron going to be heading back. He uh, has not got the health to fight. He has not got the health to take anything else. It looks like Harry Twiglet's going to be taking that red buff. Very well played. I love the fact he's taking his control of these buffs. It means he's almost guaranteed to fuck win in a straight-on fight. Possibly. That's that's not exactly true. But he's going to have cooldown reduction. He's going to have slows. He's going to have burns. He's going to be strong. And that gold is catching up. He's catching up with gold. Not going to be taking dragon. Not just yet. Serpatron returning back into lane. Going the long way round. Going to bot lane. Um... Harry Twiglet going to be backing up again. Um, going to be taking the wolves. There is wolf, one wolf left. Serpatron must have left that wolf stopping that camp spawn. Very smart, very clever. Because you don't get that much gold. You don't get that much XP from it. So, Clairvoyant's being popped and picking up Harry Twiglet there. It's just there. So, uh, Serpatron has a good idea with the puffing. Is he going to be going in? Harry Twiglet is waiting. And here comes the fight. The first fight. Harry Twiglet chunking. Oh, taking chunk. Serpatron chasing up. Does Serpatron have ghosts? He doesn't. Is he going to be able to leap and take him? Is he going to go for the turret? He's not going to go under the turret. Harry Twiglet is going to back up. Very well played by Serpatron. Identifying where Harry Twiglet is. And identifying where he's going to be. Going straight to him and fighting him. Harry Twiglet honestly should have just ran. Possibly was uh, trying to hide it. Trying to trying to not be seen by Serpatron, but Serpatron had his number and he was going to jump into that bush and uh, tackle him for that. So Harry Twiglet did get away. Fortunately, he didn't pop his ghost, which was a very uh, a very smart move. It means he's going to be able to keep that. Very risky, but um, he, he calculated it well. He knew what he was doing. Harry Twiglet possibly messing up a jump there. Let's take a look at builds again. You can see Serpatron going with the... Yeah, he's definitely going to be building the zeal. He has picked up the pink. That's going to put him 100 back. But he's going to be closer down that map. Possibly trying to identify where uh, Harry Twiglet is going to be a bit more. Which is working in his favour. I think that's the second time possibly Serpatron almost had a kill. Kill. Clairvoyance being used there by um, Harry Twiglet. Not, not picking up Serpatron knowing the red buff is gone though. So, um... Oh, Harry Twiglet has the red buff. He's just going to be checking that uh, for, 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 for giggles, I guess. Um, not seeing anyone's in there. Serpatron has put the blue, uh, the pink, by his red buff, which is um, interesting. I guess to stop any um, red attempts to, attempts to take red. And I guess it's just to protect himself a little bit. And what that says to me is he's going to be trying to defend himself. But even we're trying to defend himself. Serpatron is coming up for blue white. Harry Twiglet has not got that much health. Serpatron is going to be chasing a ghost. It's popped by Harry Twiglet. And Serpatron is happy enough just to take right. Half, half the job done. Half the white's health is gone. So he's going to pick that up. Get that bit extra gold. Um, both teams building zeal. Which to me is is fantastic i i always push zeal as possibly one of your first pick items is a very good item to start with you get attack speed that's good in the jungle you get crit which if you can get that crit off can absolutely deny uh oh is subtron gonna yeah he's gonna be fine uh the crit which if you can get the crit off you can essentially like 
just absolutely chunk someone out of a fight, even if they're winning. Um, and of course, with the important movement speed, that means you're going to be able to catch up to your opponent um, if they do not have it. But both are building zeal, which means uh, sort of they they sort of counter each other a little bit. But um, but it's okay. Um, Serpentron's heading back now. Haven't got much health. Harry Twigger going to make the most of those wraiths. He probably knows. Well, I, the clairvoyance was dropped. I couldn't remember if it was picked up, but Harry Twiglet's more than happy. A little, uh, a little goof there on the, um, on the old, uh, on the old R there coming out of form. Doesn't really matter. It wasn't affecting the game too much, so uh, he's going to be taking up that, uh, that wraith and backing out as Serpatron rolls on in. Um, Subtron has finished his zeal. He still does have that extra pink ward in his backpack, in his pocket, just in case he wants to use it. He's going to see his white, uh, his wraiths are gone, but Clairvoyance has been actually used, just there. Not picking up Harry Twiglet. But um, Subtron is coming in. Harry Twiglet is going to start on the blue. Very dangerous move. He has no wards. Clairvoyance being popped. Subtron knows where he is. He's going to be running in. Subtron does not have ghost, and is not going to be able to chase that. Harry Twiglet backs out. He knows he cannot hang around there. What is Serpatron going to take? Possibly the white, possibly the blue. I would have suggested the blue. You're going to be able to take blue and back out in that time. And leaving um, leaving blue hanging around kind of means that um, Harry Twiglet can come back in and take that blue. Um, plus, I think blue gives more gold. Possibly that might not be true. Is Serpatron even going to be able to take white? I think he's going to be able to take white. As long as he, uh, he's going to have to... Oh, very, very close. Serpatron there. Harry Twiglet now coming in from behind, but not going to be able to chase him down by no means. Here we go. Harry Twiglet is going to be taking the uh, blue. Like I said, he's going to be able to get the extra cooldown reduction. That's going to benefit him greatly in fights. Serpatron is going to just be backing out, going back to base now. So, how do I think this game is going to pan out in the future? Um, Harry Twiglet not being able to take blue there. That's pretty funny. Um, I think Serpatron right now is taking so much of, uh, he's, he's going and taking advantage of the opponent's jungle, and he's going to be, he's pathing him out, using the clairvoyance, trying to work out where Harry Twiggle is, and he's doing it at the right times, and he's catching Harry Twiggle out time and time and time again, and this, this is going to be a problem, eventually Harry Twiggle will get called out into such, to such a position, where he's going to die. We can see straight off the bat, Serpentron's like, I'm not going to take red, I'm not going to take my wraiths, I'm going straight, straight into your jungle to see what I can take. And that's how that's how he keeps playing. It pink has been dropped down at blue, because he knows, it, possibly he knows um, Harry Twiglet likes to take um, his blues. Serpentron seems to be all over this map, and actually, he has had the least experience with Katsim right now. To see him actually really dominating this game is... It's quite spectacular, spectacular, and where does that leave Harry Twiglet? He has played a lot more games. He's been playing this game for a lot longer. I honestly would have thought we would have seen more experience come from Harry Twiglet, but he does seem to be behind. Amplifying Totem being picked up by Serpatron, so he's gonna have that extra, that extra E damage, which um, he, he's looking for. He is literally going for that hunt down, um, that hunt down fight. The the purple team's turret purple has team been destroyed. Losing the turret there. So, you know, um, extra gold going in that direction. The choice to not build a enchantment on your boots is possibly something to mention here. Enchantments do cost a fair amount, and it will put you in front if you don't buy it. Obviously, you don't have an enchantment in your it does. Ghost being used to um, exit the jungle there by Serpatron. He's obviously valuing the time it takes for him to get in and out. Possibly he could just buy a home guard. That would cut that down. Um, I don't like the idea of using Ghost to get in and out of the jungle faster because you often find that you need Ghost to take down your opponent, and um, and he's not been uh, he's not been using that. So uh, Harry Twiglet has had Ghost more often than not every time he needs to escape, and he's not using it, but he has it. While Serpatron doesn't have it, so I I don't necessarily agree with that. Bit of a change up of positions here. Harry Twiglet coming from behind, but just completely missing each other. Serpatron is going to be going into his opponent's jungle, where Harry Twiglet is waiting in wait for uh, for Serpatron. None of them picking each other up there. Yeah. Um, Harry Twiglet's going to be taking red, while Serpatron 
not being able to scout his enemy, not having a clue that he is in your base. But Serpatron is coming back. Possibly might see a fight here. Harry Twiggler got low health. Serpatron coming around the corner. This is perfect for him. He's going to do tons of damage. He's going to have to chase him down. Obviously, Harry Twiggler has ghosts like we were talking about. And he's able to use it and get away. Serpatron just not even bothering. Him. He's happy to take red. Very... Odd decision making, I possibly would have thought Serpatron would have been a bit more enticed to try and kill Harry Twiglet, but he didn't seem bothered. He let Harry Twiglet back out, and he's going to be heading back to base. It's going to be taking us time running all the way back. Harry Twiglet getting really caught out there. Possibly, I would like to see a bit more pinks from Harry Twiglet. Although, uh, a pinks are very expensive items, and people do not ideally want to be spending them too early before Triforce. But in a position like this where you keep getting caught out and you are behind, possibly that protection is good. But he's like, nope, I want to go with the long sword. I want the damage. Subtron is taken very low. He's going to be taking those small wolves out and heading back. And uh, Harry Twiglet using clairvoyance. Actually, possibly not picking up. Possibly not picking up Serpatron. Blue team losing a turret. Not working in favor as uh, so far for Serpatron. Bit of gold is going to be going to Harry Twiglet. Very very close game so far although um although Zepatron was ahead and he is still ahead um that extra gold is going to be going into Harry Twiglet's pocket and he is going to be able to start building more items with that let's take a look at the uh, gold income so far we can see overall there's about a 300 gold difference between um or the overall income for both these players so that isn't much really Although Serpatron is ahead, it isn't much. Sheen has gonna be it has been picked up by Serpatron. A very, very odd uh, second item pick. Um, considering you have Zeal. I would have then definitely gone page just to get those raw stats. But it looks like there's gonna be another engagement. Serpatron coming from behind. Harry Twiglet being forced to run back into his opponent's almost his base. But it looks like Serpatron is gonna be running around trying to clairvoyance, not picking up anyone. Not just yet. He's gonna be laying in wait, and I think. I think possibly Harry Twiglet has not got out of this. Serpatron reading him very well is pinning him back. Harry Twiglet, low health, half health. Clairvoyance being popped down there. Gonna be gonna be picking up Serpatron probably there. Um, so Harry Twiglet has got his number. He's gonna be taking his white. Very, very risky move right now. And Serpatron looks like he's, he's not coming back. Very, very clutch there. Harry Twiglet almost panicking he's stuck in his opponent's base and his opponent's around taking this wraith i'm not sure is very smart because he has now even less health so going to be taking the wolves harry twiggler is going to be trying to find his way back in is he going to be able to do it looks like he's going to be trying to go over that wall past white um, and get through. Ghost is available if he needs to. And once again, Serpatron does not have Ghost available. And it looks like both teams have kind of walked past each other. Completely clueless that they uh, have been so close to each other then. Um, well played by Harry Twiggle. He, he does seem to be on the back foot. He does seem to be taking... Um, get getting called out so often. And doesn't seem to be too bothered about it. He, he seems to keep making these risky plays. And some of the plays are beneficial and some of them I don't think are um, risking your life to take uh, uh, wraiths I don't think is a beneficial move um, but uh, Serpatron seems to be it just seems to be just that step ahead stopping Harry Twiglet and when that time comes Harry Twiglet will get called out and, and I think he will get punished if he does not start buying those pink walls does not start possibly playing safer we said that Harry Twiggly is a very aggressive player at the start, and we're seeing that. We're seeing both teams playing extremely aggressively towards each other, but because Harry Twiggly is behind, it's not working in his favour. Um, earlier I was talking about the Sheen build for second item. Um, I don't always agree with Sheen. I always think that it needs to be your third, third built item, because you have to spend 400 gold on a Sapphire Crystal, which in Katsim is a bit of a waste of gold. So, you cannot be wasting 400 gold on that, but a lot of people like the proc Sheen gives you. And, obviously, Serpatron uh, values that a lot more. He's gone Zeal, he has gone Sheen, and he has now the Longsword. Um, so, he's going to be putting out a lot of the jam damage. He's going to be able to chase his opponent down with his speed from Zeal. He's going to be able to chunk Clairvoyance being dropped there. Not picking up anyone. 
which is a shame. It does look like there's going to be another showdown. They're very close to each other. Harry Twiglet picking up, and here comes the fight. Both chunking each other. Harry Twiglet seems to be losing this one, taking the first hit. Serpatron just leaving, not pressuring. Harry Twiglet hanging around. Harry Twiglet looks like he wants to go back in, waiting for that health to drop. Possibly to steal. And Harry Twiglet's coming back in, doing a lot of damage to Serpatron. Serpatron's going to turn around and face it. Serpatron is sure to lose this one. Harry Twiglet doing chance of damage. Harry Twiglet has ghosts. Is he going to use it? The ghost is used. And Serpatron is going to die. He's going to be taken down. That is first blood for Harry Twiglet. Let's take a replay look at that again. So we're back here with the replay. So you can see Harry Twiglet coming around, scouting around. Clairvoyance dropped, not picking up Harry Twiglet. Serpatron doesn't see him coming until this point here, where they have a little bit of a fight. Doing a lot of damage. Serpatron doing a lot of damage. He has the better items there. And this is the important bit. Harry Twiglet wants to come back in. Seeing, seeing, judging the health, and Her uh, Serpatron just going to carry on farming. And then Harry Twiglet sees here, I can take him. I have more health. Getting the first jump and getting the claws on. Serpatron turning back, not being able to take it. Getting absolutely chunked. Harry Twiglet confident now with that leaf as well, doing a bit of damage. And Serpatron has to run. He did not have enough health to be able to, uh, to fight that. And, uh, Ghost being popped. Harry Twiglet finishing that up with a quick slash. Very well played by Harry Twiglet. So, that was a, a, a fantastic judgment by Harry Twiggler. Absolutely amazing judgment, the way he was able to come in and out. And it looks like there's another fight about to happen now. Serpatron looking to get that kill. It seems to be almost a replay of what happened last time, but Harry Twiggler is going to back out. He's going to be very happy with that kill. And we can see the differentiations between Bilte. Harry Twiggler has gone Fade. He wants that bruiser power. Um, and it looks like there's going to be another fight. Let's going to see who's going to do the more damage. Harry Twiglet taking more chunks here. Serpatron following up. A jump back by Harry Twiglet, but he is going to be taking lots of damage. Ghost is popped by Serpatron. He's going to be jumping. He's going to take the kill. Wow. Fantastic. Let's take another replay look at that. It all starts here. Harry Twiglet is farming. Like in the last fight, he's going to back out, but then he's like, oh, maybe I can come back for more. Clairvoyance being popped, not being picked up by anyone. Serpatron hiding in the bush. And the leap in who does the first damage they both miss that but the damage main chunk of damage comes from serpatron's q that really really shows that i'm going to be able to beat you a bad jump back from harry twiggler not really being able to judge how much damage he's going to be able to do and i think at this point serpatron knows he's got this another chunk of damage really showing off uh showing off serpatron's power that making it one one fantastic play by serpatron making that making that kill possible it is one one now and looking very even, we can look, if we look actually at the builds, we see Serpatron has got Trinity Force. He's going to be putting the pressure on now, for sure. Harry Twiglet is going to be backing off. He's going to be scared. No pink ward being picked up by Serpatron. Possibly a pink ward would be good now to close down the map. He knows he's got to win this now. He's probably going to linger around trying to get trying to get the, 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 the kill on. He has Trinity Force. This is it. Serpatron can see the goal. But... Uh, Harry Twiglet not having enough gold to be able to finish that sheen off. It's going to be coming back in. It's going to be a scary time for Harry Twiglet. He needs to keep farming now. He needs to get that sheen. needs to get that Triforce. And Serpatron will be looking to do some pressuring. I hope to see a lot of clairvoyance drops being down. Serpatron needs to figure out the pathing. And Harry Twiglet hiding in try. And Serpatron jumping over. Here comes the second fight. Serpatron doing more damage than Harry Twiglet. Harry Twiglet backing off. Ghost spot by Harry Twiglet. No ghost available for Serpatron because he won that last fight. Lots of jumps, but it's not going to be enough. Harry Twiglet is going to make it out of this one alive. Very close for Serpatron. Harry Twiglet actually coming back. Probably trying to trying to bait out another little fight. Trying to do a little bit more damage before he comes back. And he is coming back. Harry Twiglet, uh, Serpatron trying to close out. Harry Twiglet is coming back. Oh my god. Serpatron chasing him. He's going to be doing a lot of damage. The turret gets taken down somewhere across the map. But Harry Twiglet is going to escape. Serpatron's going to leave him. Wow, very, very scary place by Harry Twiggle. Coming back, when you look at it at, as the end result, Harry Twiggle coming back was a good play. It made Serpatron's health a lot lower, meaning he couldn't camp around, meaning he would have to go back. But that takes some balls, especially coming back to someone with a Triforce. That, that takes a lot of balls, and wow. That is, that is very, very, very cool. Um, Serpatron is going to be backing up, heading back. Harry Twiglet desperately looking to find some extra gold now, trying to get that Triforce. He's going to be taking blue to get a bit more, a bit more gold in his pocket, a bit more cooldown reduction. He's going to be happy with that. Serpatron not coming back with full health. No, he's going to be heading back, so... Um, there we go, he's got full health. He's going to be heading back right now. Let's take a look at gold. It seems to be pretty even between both teams. Well, 
Turret being taken down now, swaying that on a little bit, but it essentially it's pretty even. Purple team's turret getting destroyed, so the money is just going to go into Sir Patron's pack, pack, which is full of gold. He hasn't got anything to spend on apart from pink wards, but he has got the pink ward, so he's going to be looking to close that down. Possibly Sir Patron should camp or try and reach level 10 and fight out that way. Once you hit level 10, your opponent's level 9, you're generally likely to kill them. But it looks like there's going to be another showdown. Here we go. Who is going to fight? Is Harry Twiggly going to want to fight? He is hanging around. They both have Triforce. My god, I didn't even look. They both have Triforce right now. This is going to be a tense game. Whoever gets the kill, there's a quick jump. Oh, Serpatron jumping in, trying to get the pounce on Harry Twiggly, but Harry Twiggly bounce. Bouncing out, there is a blue buff on Harry Twiglet, which is important to mention, and an uh, uh, and uh, enchantments on the boots. The decision not to pick up any enchantments yet um, for Serpatron is an odd one. Maybe he's going to pick that up last. They're going to be a little chase down. No one has Ghost available. No one has Clairvoyance available. The upper hand is on Harry Twiglet with the blue buff, but it looks like they're still going to be fighting out. This is getting very close. Here comes the jump. Serpatron making the jump and hit damage. Serpatron doing a lot of damage. Harry Twiglet doing even more damage by the look. Harry Twiglet not having the balls to stay and fight. He's going to back out. He is closer to his base, so he has the option to back out, but it looks like he wants to get this first attack off. This is very scary play by both teams. And the leap there by Serpatron doing a bit more damage, just poking on Harry Twiglet. But who is going to be able to take this? Clairvoyance being popped by both players here. Clairvoyance just, just revealing whether they're going back or not. And it looks like Harry Twiglet is going to be pushing them out of his base. But Serpatron coming back for more. This this is dangerous. Serpatron has enough. He's going to be leaping. He's going to do more of a swipe damage. He's going to be poking a little bit more. Harry Twiglet knows he's had his time. He's had his fun. He's going to back up. Serpatron going to be hanging around. Very dangerous now. Considering the fact that uh, Harry Twiglet has backed off. He's beating and he's going to be getting his health back and coming back in there. At this stage... There is not much people can do. Possibly you could farm and get that level 10 and force that fight. That's what I would be doing. If I was in any of these players' positions, get to level 10 and then essentially camp your opponent's base. If you were level 10, you will be able to fight them and you will be able to beat them. There is a massive damage difference between a level 9 and a level 10. Serpatron is going to be picking up red. Now Harry Twiglet is going to be invading, trying to put a bit more pressure. He's going to be picking up that pink. Serpatron knows where Harry Twiglet is now, but Harry Twiglet making the decision to leave that, to leave that pink. Very interesting. Possibly, hmm, a very interesting move. Maybe he was a little bit worried that Serpatron was going to be around. Uh, Harry Twiglet is down a buff. That blue buff has worn off. Um, and Serpatron obviously has his red buff right now. Not that uh, Harry Twiglet would know that, but um, it's going on. Harry Twiglet camping, waiting. Clairvoyance popped at blue. Purple but red, team's sorry. turret has been destroyed. Not being able to pick up anyone. It seems to be just a bit of a camp match. Nobody seems to be farming. I can understand why. There's a lot on the line here and there's a lot of pressure from your opponent. I'm not sure he's going to be able to make that jump. He's just dropping the pink ward. Closing down river a little bit. Serpatron seems to be going the correct way to not get picked up. Um, and he's going to be invading coming round blue and Harry Twiglet seems to be going into uh, Serpatron's jungle nobody being destroyed. able to pick up anybody so interesting they're both going to be scouting around trying to find each other there is a level difference here level 10 Serpatron but Harry Twiglet does and he's lost his buff as well the, the cooldowns are going he's going to be jumping over that wall is he going to be jumping over that wall Harry Twiglet knows where Serpatron is Harry Serpatron trying to just elude that a little bit trying to keep his vision uh, trying to keep seen. Eric Twiggler is going to be going around. Possibly look for escape. Here comes the second fight. Serpatron doing a lot of damage again. But it looks like actually Ghost popped by Serpatron. And the burn from the red. Another chunk of damage. Serpatron can win this for sure. He just needs to be chasing that. Very, very close. Serpatron doing more damage. Considerable more damage we saw. I actually think Harry Twiggler, um got more of the combos off that's why more of the damage came through but the slow from the red was really punishing for Harry Twiglet with 30 minutes in games do not usually go on for this long so um, the level 10 advantage is massive and and, and 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 it's just so massive Harry Twiglet needs to get those levels get to level 10 I'm not confident he'll be able to fight Sir Patron if he is not level 10 even if he has all the buffs it would be very close. Blue buff is going to come up. Um, Serpatron chilling out there on podium. They both have the exact same builds at this point. They're both looking to keep their ghosts up so they can follow up. Um, 
Arituglet looking possibly to take blue. He's thinking about it. He's a little bit worried. Possibly waiting for someone to, to run on over. And it looks like they possibly might meet up here. Serpatron curving around that. It looks like they might miss each other. And that's exactly what they're going to do. They're going to miss each other. Clairvoyance being dropped down. Not picking up anybody. Harry Twiglet just scouting around. Really risky play by Harry Twiglet. He is level 9. Let's not forget Blue that. Blue team's turret has been destroyed. Another turret being dropped. Doesn't really matter at this point. People have got their gold. People have spent their gold. It is just about the Triforce kill. And hopefully we're going to see that soon. Because uh, not much is going on. I think possibly the, the, the pink ward should be placed in a more strategical place. Possibly in river. People are going to be crossing river the whole time. Uh, and and the, the, oh, here comes the second fight, here comes the second fight, Harry Twiglet doing more damage, straight first, actually, Serpatron looks like he did more damage, getting that second, Q off, and Chlorin, Serpatron has got him pinned into space, Harry Twiglet seems to be trying to fight it straight out, it doesn't look like Harry Twiglet is going to be able to make this one, and it's a kill for Serpatron, Serpatron taking that kill, fantastic play, let's take a look at a replay of that. As we come back here to the replay, we can see Serpatron pops a pink ward down to try and close that river down, like we were saying, and then he gets jumped by Harry Twiggler, missing the missing the AOE claws, but Serpatron popping the ghost, having that ghost available, and just seems to be doing one too many chunks. Harry Twiggler making the bad decision to go back and fight, and as you can see here, gets a massive Q chunk, tries to escape, and I think he knows at that point he can't win. So, uh, that's GG. That's GG, well played by Serpatron. What a fantastic match and what a fantastic ending. Serpatron is going to be the victor for this match and unfortunately Harry Twiglet is going to be the loser. So let's take a look at what the board now looks like uh, with these results. As we can see, Mova 5-5 and Serpatron will be hitting up in the winner's bracket facing off in the next round. And in the loser's bracket, it will be Harry Twiglet versus Jagra Fess. The winners of both rackets will be heading up against each other in the finals to win the CCS tournament for that legendary French-made Middle East skin. Thank you very much for watching and we will see you next time.